hello everyone this is Ubaid Basha in this video I will show uh, share with you one of a very critical configuration of uh, this uh, booking system so one of my client requirement was like uh, if anyone want to book uh, for uh, for a short distance then they wanted to show some minimum pricing on here uh, if I show you from here like uh, from here uh, you can see uh, the client requirement is reservation to the vehicle I want the minimum price to be added beside the car not only the on the total actually the price was showing on the on the total like this way like uh, it's showing 30 uh, 13.995 but you can see in the total it's showing 45 so it's kind of confusion like whenever anyone want to uh, select these vehicles and whenever they go to reservation uh, they confirm the booking then they might be confused about the booking price because they seen the they've seen the price uh, they, they they're seeing the different prices uh, like uh, it's showing 30 30.95 but in total it's showing 44 for 45 point uh, 45 so they might be confused about the pricing right so basically it's the minimum price they wanted to uh, uh, for for these vehicles uh, that means uh, without 45 they can't anyone uh, no one can book the uh, book these vehicles because it's a minimum price for this so if anyone want to book for a very short distance then they have to po uh, provide this so but customer is showing uh, but uh, there's also another one uh, one kind of uh, calculation behind this um, booking system it's like um, let me show you from here uh, from the pricing rules uh, if, you, if you go to pricing rules uh, there are uh, three kind of uh, pricing rules for for different vehicles like there are three different vehicles like classic business and van so so we created three kind of different uh, pricing system for this so let me show you from the classic price so if I go there here so from the condition distance, distance from the conditions and distance like uh, if you only want want to um, book their reservation from uh, from 1 to uh, 33 uh, kilometer I mean between 1 to 33 kilometer uh, kind of short uh, short distance then they will charge three uh, three dollar per mile right uh, so if anyone want to book for more than 34 kilometer then they want to charge two dollar per mile because as much as uh, the pr uh, the distance is long the for longer distance price will be decreased so this is how it's work but uh, like uh, if anyone want to book for two kilometers then uh, the driver might not be interested to go there because uh, uh, he has um, it's kind of a very short distance and wanted to no one want to uh, drop on it so that's why they they wanted to use also add minimum uh, uh, what what can I say minimum pricing for all of the vehicles so the for the classic one they wanted to put 25 but the problem was I assure you that uh, whenever anyone uh, do this uh, for the vehicles is a minimum 44 45 but it's showing the distance uh, uh, distance calculation price not not the total price beside the vehicle so they wanted to fix it so that's why uh, we have to do some kind of settings from here uh, which is uh, uh, like uh, from here uh, if you go to options we have to add the minimum order below for the classic one uh, it's uh, 25 right so that's why we added 25 here and we have to do another one thing is like uh, from the pricing uh, from the booking form uh, l uh, let me show you from the booking form we have to we have to just uh, hide the fees uh, so that uh, the exact the total price uh, can be uh, should be shown on the beside the vehicles so that's why we have to hide the fees from here so for this open this and for this we have to do something like uh, uh, from the price 
you can see hide fees hide all additional fees initial delivery in booking summary and include them to the price of the selected vehicles so that's what we wanted to do that's why i just enable this one and we pr fix the problem now there's not showing any kind of uh, additional fees here like it's showing the minimum price here like 25 35 45 minimum price is showing exactly uh, the my exactly the my client requirements and there was another one requirements in the uh, billing section like uh, whenever uh, anyone uh, basically this website is based on belgium so that's why they wanted to uh, use uh, belgium default uh, contact number default country uh, could should be shown here so the, uh, it was a requirement if i show you from here you can see reservation inter contact details i want the default phone number code belgium because it basically it's for belgium so i also fixed this issue uh, let me show you how i did it so basically what you have to do is uh, for this uh, from the booking form from the booking form from general and click on main and after that uh, just scroll down and you will see uh, you can see an option default country select default country it will be default selected in step 3 step 3 means like uh, if I select this one and go to there so this is basically step 3 so from the step 3 it's a uh, billing section uh, step 3 of uh, booking form in uh, billing details from in section billing details if the based on customer geolocation option is chosen and the geolocation feature is enabled plugin will set country based on customer IP address so basically this is how it's working I also uh, added is Belgium uh, so basically this uh, website is for Belgium so this is how it's work here for frankly so this is how I fix the issue so if you face any kind of issue with this plugin feel free to contact with me so that I can assist you to fix it and basically I design um, taxi booking website professional taxi booking website for my client so uh, um, if you wanted to design your um, a design a professional taxi booking website uh, for your business then feel free to contact with me um, okay so thank you so much that's all for today thank you